the first European version, 1704-1717, was translated into French by Antoine Galland from an Arabic text of the Syrian recension and other sources. This 12-volume work, Les Mille et une Nuits, Contes Arabes Traduits en Français, The Thousand and One Nights, Arab stories translated into French, included stories that were not in the original Arabic manuscript, Aladdin S. Lamp, and Ali Baba and the Forty Thieves, as well as several other lesser-known tales appeared first in Galland's translation and cannot be found in any of the original manuscripts. He wrote that he heard them from the Christian Maronite storyteller Hannah Diab during Diab's visit to Paris. Galland's version of the Knights was immensely popular throughout Europe, and later versions were issued by Galland's publisher using Galland's name without his consent. As scholars were looking for the presumed complete and original form of the Knights, they naturally turned to the more voluminous texts of the Egyptian recension, which soon came to be viewed as the standard version. The first translations of this kind, such as that of Edward Lane, 1840, 1859, were balderized. Unabridged and unexpurgated translations were made, first by John Payne, under the title The Book of the Thousand Nights and One Night, 1882, nine volumes, and then by Sir Richard Francis Burton, entitled The Book of the Thousand Nights and a Night, 1885, ten volumes. The latter was, according to some assessments, partially based on the former, leading to charges of plagiarism. In view of the sexual imagery in the source texts, which Burton emphasized even further, especially by adding extensive footnotes and appendices on oriental sexual mores, and the strict Victorian laws on obscene material, both of these translations were printed as private editions for subscribers only rather than published in the usual manner. Burton's original ten volumes were followed by a further six. Seven in the Baghdad edition and perhaps others. Entitled The Supplemental Nights to the Thousand Nights and a Night. Which were printed between 1886 and 1888. It has, however, been criticized for its archaic language and extravagant idiom and obsessive focus on sexuality, and has even been called an eccentric ego trip and a highly personal reworking of the text. Later versions of the Knights include that of the French Dr. J. C. Madras, issued from 1898 to 1904. It was translated into English by Poes Mathers and issued in 1923. Like Payne S. and Burton S. texts, it is based on the Egyptian recension and retains the erotic material, indeed expanding on it, but it has been criticized for inaccuracy. Muzan Mahdi S. 1984 Leiden edition, based on the Galland manuscript, was rendered into English by Hussein Hadawi. 1990. This translation has been praised as very readable and strongly recommended for anyone who wishes to taste the authentic flavor of those tales. An additional second volume of Arabian Nights translated by Hadawi, composed of popular tales not present in the Leiden edition, was published in 1995. Both volumes were the basis for a single volume reprint of selected tales of Hadawi's translations. In 2008 a new English translation was published by Penguin Classics in three volumes. It is translated by Malcolm C. Lyons and Ursula Lyons with introduction and annotations by Robert Irwin. This is the first complete translation of the McNaughton or Calcutta II edition. Egyptian recension. Since Burton's, it contains 
in addition to the standard text of 1001 Nights. The so-called orphan stories of Aladdin and Ali Baba as well as an alternative ending to the Seventh Journey of Sindbad from Antoine Galland's original French. As the translator himself notes in his preface to the three volumes. Quote. N. O. Attempt has been made to superimpose on the translation changes that would be needed to rectify accretions, repetitions, non sequiturs and confusions that mark the present text, and the work is a representation of what is primarily oral literature, appealing to the ear rather than the eye. The Lion's translation includes all the poetry in plain prose paraphrase, but does not attempt to reproduce in English the internal rhyming of some prose sections of the original Arabic. Moreover, it streamlines somewhat and has cuts. In this sense it is not, as claimed, a complete translation. A new English language translation was published in December 2021. The first solely by a female author. Yasmin Seal, which removes earlier sexist and racist references. The new translation includes all the tales from Hannah Diyab and additionally includes stories previously omitted featuring female protagonists, such as tales about Parizade, Pari Banu, and the horror story Sidi Newman.